Please, Lord, reveal your divine will for my life right here. Then Judas threw the silver coins down in the temple and went out and hanged himself. Are we even reading this thing right? Are you new to the faith and you've picked up one of these Bibles and you have no idea where to start? Or maybe you've been a Christian for a while and you're still confused about some of the animal sacrifices and the stories that happen? This video's for you. Hey guys, Jeff here from That Bold Life, your weekly encouragement to help you live a bold life for Jesus. Now, one of the huge factors of living a bold life for Jesus, like our goal of this channel is, is to actually pick up and read this book. I hear all too often uh, from students, from friends, from people in ministry, that they no longer hear the voice of God in their life. However, I believe that God left us his word right here, that if we're not hearing the words of God, we gotta ask ourselves, are we actually even in the word of God? And I think that one of the huge factors of being a Christian and living out the word of God is to actually get in the word of God. As my pastor so eloquently puts it, you can hear the voice of God within the verse of God, okay? So I think this book right here, or whatever yours may look like, it is a, a powerful, action-packed, beautiful love story. At first glance, I know it doesn't look that way. If you haven't yet watched my testimony, which you can right here, you know that I just became a Christian at the age of 21. And at the age of 21, when I became a Christian, I didn't know much about the faith. I didn't know much about following Jesus. I just knew I was probably supposed to read this thing. And I remember it is a book. It is, it's got pages and, and letters and numbers and everything, it is a book. So I started it like I would any other book. Right here in the very beginning in what we like to call Genesis 1. I read all the way through Genesis. I read creation, I read about Noah, I read about Jacob, I, I read about all these people in the Bible and that was awesome. And then I went to the next book of the Bible and it was Leviticus. And I began to get a little more concerned, a little bit more nervous. And I remember thinking Christians clearly aren't living right. I have yet to see anyone sacrifice a lamb, right? And I remember reading this Bible and, and starting from my lack of knowledge and being very, very confused and very put back. And I imagine you've been somewhere yourself, especially if you didn't have someone in your life really teaching you about the Bible or really teaching you how it goes, or maybe you have, maybe you've been in church for years and you still have no idea what to do with this book. That's great. You've come to the right place because today we're actually gonna be entering into a series on how to read the Bible. So over the next three to four weeks, I'm gonna cover different topics. Today, we're gonna to be talking about where to start in reading the Bible. Next week, we're gonna be talking about what translation is best. The week after that, we're gonna be talking about how to read the Bible digitally. Um, then the week after that, it's gonna be kind of surprised. I have a few things in works, but we will find out when we get there what's gonna be going on. But I hope through this series that I can answer any questions you guys have. And if you have any that I do not cover, or you wanna see answered in this series, leave it in a comment down below and I will try to get to it. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about where to start reading the Bible. So in order for us to really begin diving into the Bible, I feel like there's a few things we have to understand about the Bible. The Bible is written unlike any other book out there. It's not just one whole book. One guy didn't sit down and pin this whole thing out. The Bible consists of 66 individual letters, eyewitness accounts, and books that were written by over 40 different authors from over 1,500 years and all over the world, somehow we're able to take this book, these individual letters, these individual documents, these individual manuscripts written by so many different people from all over the world over a ginormous amount of time, put them all together and have a book that makes perfect sense that flows perfectly from one chapter to the next, from one part of the Bible to the next, from the Old Testament to the New Testament. And if you're new to the Bible, that's a phrase you might not be super familiar with, but as you'll notice, the first part of our book, the first part of our Bible is a little bit different. We call this the 
Old Testament that would be going from Genesis to Malachi and then our New Testament is going from Matthew to Revelation so if you're confused about what New Testament is what the Old Testament is what all that matters well the Old Testament you can just think of it like this the Old Testament is before Jesus so it's before Jesus came now don't get me wrong this whole book this whole Bible is about Jesus from the beginning to the end this whole thing has the scarlet thread going through it, it is all about Jesus type in on YouTube, Jesus through the whole Bible, you'll find some amazing people that's gonna tell you that better than I can. But this whole book is about Jesus. However, the Old Testament is before Jesus is born on earth, and the New Testament is basically when Jesus is born and his ministry and what happens after that. So Old Testament is before Jesus is born, New Testament is after, but the whole book is still about Jesus. That's what this whole Bible is about, is about Jesus, the Son of God. That's what this whole book is about. So it's separated into Old Testament, New Testament, 66 different books combined in one by over 40 different authors. It is a fantastic, exciting book. I love the Bible. When I first became a Christian, my wife took me to Lifeway to get what I'm gonna say is my first Bible. Now I'd had Bibles before that, but none were really mine. People had given me Bibles, uh, but I never intended to read it. But she took me whenever I was 21 and I became a Christian to get my first Bible that I intended to read from cover to cover. And she got me this Bible right here. This is a fantastic Bible. This Bible is the Teen Guys Study Bible. It's made by Zondervan and it is the Revolution Teen Guys Study Bible. If you have a teen guy in your life and Christmas right around the corner, grab them this Bible. This Bible is fantastic. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but this is just, this was my first real Bible that I really sat down and I read. It has footnotes, it has full color pages that you can see that. At the beginning of each book, it tells you who the book was written by, who it's written to, it tells you the context. It gives you a lot of the information that you really need. It's exactly what I needed at the time because it is directed at a teen guy and even though it wasn't a teen at the time, it really simplified the Bible and it really gave me access to the context. But one of the most powerful things this Bible did for me, in the back of the book it has reading plans. And the very first Bible reading plan that I sat down and my wife and I sat down and did together was this reading plan called 30 Days with Jesus. It starts you in Isaiah 53, which is Old Testament. You have to read Isaiah 53 to figure that one out. Uh, it'll blow your mind though. And it ends over in Luke 24. But it, it, it takes you over the course of 30 days, it takes you from the, the prophecies of Jesus to Jesus being born to some of the miracles Jesus worked. It takes you to the crucifixion. It takes you all the way through the life of Jesus. And, and this plan, I think, is one of the things that fundamentally changed the way I thought about the Bible because it gave me a guideline to read. When you decide to start reading this book, when you start reading this Bible, don't just flip to a random verse and point it out. I think I showed in the beginning that that doesn't work. You need to understand the context. You need to read it. You need to read the before and the after. You need to read, I, I like to read books of the Bible at a time, not in one single sitting, but you know, over the next you know 10 days, I'm gonna read through the book of Acts and I'm just gonna go through it. But that way you understand the Bible and what you're reading in that passage and that letter in the context of the situation. You understand fully what's going on. You can point to one verse and get anything you want out of it. You can point to that one verse and make it say anything you want because you can make those words fit anything you really want them to. So you're not actually reading the Bible, you're just letting the Bible say what you want it to say. If you want to read the Bible and understand the Bible, you have to read it in context. You have to read a good amount. So what I like to do is I like to sit down and I like to read passages at a time. I like to read through a single book at a time and then I'll move to another book and another book and another book. Um, I like if there's footnotes, if your Bible has footnotes, I like to read the footnotes. If it's referencing you know, a passage back here, I'll go back and read that. But read the Bible in context and it'll be way more powerful than you can imagine. But that reading plan that I did was the 30 days with Jesus. And it was an amazing reading plan. It's, it's still one of my favorites. I'm planning to go back and do it again. Um, and actually, I have it available for you guys, so I actually typed it out in a document. I have a PDF you can download from my Dropbox. I'll have it linked down below. If you want to read that plan, the 30 Days with Jesus, grab that, print that PDF out, or keep it on your phone, whatever it looks like, and just read that each day and see if it doesn't change the way you think about the Bible and the way you think about Jesus. 
And if you're just getting started, this is the perfect place to start. Now, if you want, like I suggested, to read through an entire book of the Bible, you would think that you want to start at the very beginning and you want to start in Genesis. And Genesis is beautiful and creation is amazing and the stories in Genesis are some of my favorite. But for a new Christian, what I recommend to my students and what I'm going to recommend to you is start in the book of John. John is where I started after my reading plan. It's the first book of the Bible that I read all the way through. But I recommend you start in the book of John. John is one of the Gospels, and the Gospels are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And they are essentially the eyewitness accounts of people that were there of what Jesus actually did. So if you want to learn, if you're new to Christianity and you want to learn about Christianity and learn about the Bible, you need to start with the one it's about. It's about Jesus and Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John tell the story of Jesus from people who were actually there. That is amazingly powerful. So start in John, read all the way through it. That is where I recommend you start. Is start with the reading plan I gave you. I think it's an amazing reading plan. And then if you want to read through a book of the Bible, start with one of the Gospels. My favorite is John. But read through one of the Gospels and see where that leads you. If you guys have any questions at all, I want you to leave them down below and I will try to cover them throughout this series. All right, guys, thank you so much for making it this far in the video. If you enjoyed this content, go ahead and hit this subscribe button right here. I release content just like this every single week. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and keep living that bold life. <laughs>